Hello, boys and girls. I'm Rosemary McCorkle. I'm bringing you a story today about dogs, which is why I have brought Daisy with me. I love dogs. How many of you have a dog? Almost everybody has a dog at some time. There's nothing nicer than to have a dog greet you at come home from school, especially if you've had a really rough day at school and that puppy is so happy to see you. So happy to see you. You can tell him all about what went on at school today. I have had so many dogs. At one time I had 15 dogs. My mother dog gave me a surprise. She had 12 dogs, 12 puppies. And that was a lot of fun keeping up with those dogs. But this is about a special set of dogs. Curious George, a monkey, goes to visit some dogs. And let's see what he does. Curious George and the puppies by Margaret and A. H. H. A. Rays. Curious George is the most curious monkey. He's a good little monkey, but he is so curious. How many of you have read some of George's other adventures? Because Curious George does go on a lot of things. This is George. George is a good little monkey and he always very curious. One day, George went for a walk with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. You don't see his hat in this picture, but he always wears a yellow hat. When they sat down to rest, they noticed a tiny kitten peeking out from under the bush. The kitten looked frightened. Perhaps she's lost, said the man with the yellow hat. Together, he and George searched the park to find the kitten's owner. But the kitten was all alone. This kitten is too young to be all by herself. We should take her to the animal shelter where they can take good care of her and maybe find her a home. So George and the kitten and the man with the yellow hat drove to the animal shelter. Now I have been to the animal shelter a lot of times. I like to take old towels and old clothes because they use these when they're bathing the dogs. So I visit the animal shelter, but my problem is I always want to take somebody home. Well, George has never been to the animal shelter. So, of course, he is very curious about it. The director of the shelter was glad to see them. It was good of you to bring her here, and we will be so happy to take good care of her. George gave the kitten to the director, and then he and the man with the yellow hat walked inside. Come in, the director said, but watch where you step. We have a large litter of puppies, and one has gotten out of his cage. We're still looking for him, so please be careful. She closed the door quickly behind them. George had never been to an animal shelter before. Animals of all kinds were being cared for here. George saw bunnies and cats and turtles and guinea pigs. And, and there's a big fat raccoon. He even saw a snake, but he didn't see any puppies. George, I need to get some paper signs, said the man with the yellow hat. Please stay here and 
don't be too curious. Just as the man with the yellow hat left the room, George heard some barking. Maybe it was the puppies. But where was it coming from? George was curious. And I'd be curious too. So George followed the barking sounds. What could be making those barking sounds? It might be puppies. Yes, he found a room full of dogs. There were yellow dogs, spotted dogs, sleek dogs, and fluffy dogs. There were quiet dogs, and there were yappy dogs, and even a dog without a tail. But where were the puppies? Then George saw a little wagging tail but they're so little he can hardly see the puppies. But then he sees another tail and another tail and another. And he is so happy he sees the dogs, the puppies. Once George saw the puppies, he could not take his eyes off of them. He had to pet one. Here was a puppy, and she, puppy liked George. Puppy wanted to hold that puppy. Slowly, he opened the door. But before George could even reach the puppy, another dog pushed the door open and off like a shot. George tried to close the door after her, but the puppies were too fast. There was nothing George could do. Puppies went everywhere. Puppies hid under the desk. Puppies barked at bunnies. One puppy played with the telephone cord and another climbed on the desk just to watch the other dogs get into mischief. Soon all the dogs were barking the cats were meowing, and the bunnies were bumping into the corners of their cage. What a noise. Bedlam. And there is Mother Dog, wagging her tail. She's enjoying the confusion. Oh no, cried the director, as she and the man with the yellow coat ru hat rushed into the room. Now all the puppies are out. So the man with the yellow hat helped the director gather up puppies and put them safely back in their cage. Soon, all the animals were settled down and quiet. There she's giving it a nice, gentle hug. Except for one who was still barking. It was the mother dog. What was she barking at? There's nothing here but the door. There must be something on the other side of the door, thought George. So he opened the door.